I think in the pictures it looks like they leave a little bit of room at the top so that's what I'm gonna do Cheers. I don't know why I'm already so impressed. You guys, I was so excited when Glass Blunt reached out to me and asked if I want to do a video with them. This was actually one of the very first smoking like devices or accessories I ever bought myself way back before I even knew how to roll. I do remember like the first time I ever got weed, I ended up getting papers and that was a whole bitch. I probably went through like 20 papers just trying to roll something and I don't remember it being fun or fresh, like nothing great came out of that. No pearls were rolled that night, that's for sure, which is how I originally found this little guy. And the only other thing like I had to smoke out of were pipes at the time. So I used to use like dry pipes all the freaking time. And then I ordered myself one of these, it's like kind of like this color. And I feel like I liked it, but I can't remember. I might've never like figured it out, but this was quite simple to load the weed into. I feel like you can probably put a fuck ton of weed in here, or you could probably get away with just putting a little bit in here and it would just it'd be good either way you can already see like as soon as i took that first hit you could see the smoke creating like moisture in there which is you know the resin so you could just see it almost get dirty instantly but that is literally anything you smoke out of i take one rip out of my bong and it is like wow it's kind of crazy how dirty they get so quickly I do really like that this little glass blunt comes with a cleaning kit like this little brush looks like it's gonna be super helpful for cleaning this. It also gives you like a spare tube, low key, because you can just swap out this one for that one. But I really wanted to do this video because I didn't remember, you know, how I felt about them. So I wanna see if it'll stay lit if I continuously hit it. Pro tip from the Glass Blunt store themselves to keep your glass blunt lit just like a blunt, twist the mouthpiece every puff or two to ensure that the cherry has the oxygen needed to stay lit. If it's gonna ash well, which it seemed to ash okay, I ashed it a little prematurely. It didn't need ash quite yet, but. I just thought it'd be fun to test this out because I feel like what's the difference in something like this and a one hitter? I think I need to ash it, which this is super cool. You just turn this up, you turn it counterclockwise to like get the butt in there. And then you turn it clockwise to ash. I really like how smooth this is in my throat. Recently, I've been digging joint papers because they are so much smoother than like a tobacco wrap, but this is even smoother. I feel like it's a little bit smoother than a one hitter for whatever reason, like the mouthpiece. It doesn't hit like a dry pipe really. It does hit more like a blunt. I love how closed off this mouthpiece is. No Scooby Snacks can really come through and get you. At least none have gotten me. I've smoked down like two little loops. I think versus going and buying wraps all the time, this is pretty lit. Or if you're trying to cut out tobacco. Also a pretty good alternative because it still gives you the whole like blunt feeling, blunt vibe. I feel like I've smoked this much pretty pretty quickly so far and it's, it's doing good. I also feel like for whatever reason this fits harder than a blunt and maybe it is because it kind of is more of a dry pipe vibe but it's not like it gives me more of a blunt vibe but i guess since it's glass technically
I feel like the glass blunt will be so convenient for in the summer because blunts are like very like easily tampered with. They can just be like sat on and squashed so simply. And this like obviously if you sit on it, it's probably gonna be fucking fine. If you break the glass, you have a spare tube. I'm really liking it. I don't feel like I remembered liking it as much, but also when I first started smoking weed, I feel like weed probably absolutely destroyed my throat, whereas now, not so much. It does make me cough, but when you first start smoking weed, it feels like, I don't know, it, no. Like, smoke hitting your throat does not feel pleasant, but the effects of it are worth it, so humans are just like, but your throat like adjusts to itself. I feel like I didn't remember liking this as much as I'm liking it now, but I also don't remember my opinion at all towards it. So I also probably, I have a feeling I like never figured it out for some reason. I feel like I just struggled so hard until I didn't struggle anymore. Like just one day I could roll a blunt and they were really good. Like I never struggled. As soon as I could roll one, they were so nice. But until that point, I just like literally couldn't. Like there was not a chance in hell it was even like getting rolled. If you struggle with rolling yourself, blunts or joints or you know, whatever your vibe is, this can definitely cut out a frustrating step. There's no way, that's way smoother than a pipe. I'm almost done with this. Y'all, I'm so lit. I think one of the next videos you guys are gonna be seeing from me is my 100k video and I'm so excited for that. I've been so lit and I feel like every vid recently, but it's the way to be. There's not much more I could want from it. I'm gonna take a couple more hits and then go make myself something to eat because your girl is fucking hungry. It is currently probably like a little after midnight, a little late night sesh, if you will. Oh shit, a little after midnight my ass. It's 1.37 in the morning. I'm gonna make a fat ass fat ass meal after this let me know in the comments if you're smoking with me what you're smoking on i have some divorce cake in here i know i went to the dispo a couple months ago and i tried to get divorce cake and they were out and i ended up picking up an ounce of it this time so it's super smooth on the throat i've been liking it so far but Thank you so much to Glass Blunt for sending this over and sponsoring today's video. And I hope to see you guys all in my next one. Until then, peace. I love you. Stay safe.